Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you need IT consulting, go to WillieHow.com, click the Hire Us button or the Contact Us link, fill out that information, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. So, what is the least secure device on your network or networks you manage, and why is it printers? So, if you think there are other devices besides printers that are, that are more insecure, than printers, go ahead and put it down in the comments. Let's have a conversation about this. But I'm going to tell you from experience. I've been inside Fortune 500, uh, Fortune uh, 50 companies who don't have their printers secured with a username and password. They don't have the firmware up to date. Uh, go check network printers that you're in charge of and see if you've got an admin username and password. See if your firmware is up to date and let me know. Let me know down in the comments. I would bet that probably 90% of people, printers are kind of a forgotten thing. So when we're talking about um, security assessments with folks, printers come up. If you've worked with me on a security assessment, you know I will talk to you about your printers. Are, is your firmware out of date? Do you have a username and password? These are things that you've got to be um, really worried about, making sure you're doing it properly. And HP... Check this out. HP is going to, uh, you can search and HP will talk about, they've even got videos about how printers can be used as a jumping off point for attackers in a network. Here's just one of the latest things. Hundreds of HP printer model, models vulnerable to remote code execution. And I will leave a link to this. But, uh, and, and it's usually buffer overflows that we see with the printer, printer firmware. So uh, make sure that you are updating your printers. If your printers can't be updated, then they shouldn't be on a network uh, where it, you know it has access to sensitive information. Um, you know, maybe firewall it off, only allow port 9100 for, for printing. But go check out your printers and see how many of them are secured. And you're gonna be able to tell too on a lot of the printers, uh, the new firmware versus the, uh, the old firmware, just the way that it looks. And then um, in this article, it also talks about disabling like link local multicast name resolution, about uh, disabling uh, protocols and services on printers that you're not using. And that is something that we should be doing on all types of devices, not just printers, is lowering that attack surface. So if you've got printers, you know, go check them out. Um, and if you need help with that, if you uh, need help doing a security assessment, reach out at willyhow.com. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Those links are down below. If you'd like to support the channel by becoming a patron on Patreon or by using our clearly marked affiliate links, those are also down below. If you need that IT consulting to help secure your printers or do anything else on your networking voice security, reach out at willyhow.com. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.